Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Still working on that slogan, but I'm liking one that I've heard. Facts over feelings. Because that's what we do here at Rudy's Rant. We give you facts. I don't care about your feelings. I do a little bit. But realistically, we're here for facts over feelings. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Greatly appreciate it. Let's jump in on the topic below. Kate Martin merch outselling multiple time MVPs. So let's talk about this topic at hand. And let's give you a screen share of what the deal is here. Top selling WNBA player merchandise for this year. Caitlin Clark naturally is number one. Angel Reese naturally number two. Number three is Sabrina Ionescu. Number four is Kate Martin. Kate Martin. If there is not something that is more Caitlin Clark effect than that, I do not know what is. Kate Martin, not even expected to be drafted in the WNBA, shows up at the draft to support her friend, Caitlin Clark. And what happens? She gets drafted by the Aces. Now, let's talk about Kate Martin's contribution to the Aces this year. Because early on, it seemed like she was playing. But as the season wore on, you didn't see too much of her, realistically. I mean, statistically, she was otherworldly terrible. She shot 30.7%, 35.5% from three, 91.7% from the from the free throw line. But to think about the fact that she shot 30.7% from the field, but shot 5% better from three means that she basically took nothing but threes. And when she got twos, she just didn't make any of them. She played 11.5 minutes per game this year in 34 games. She started twice. She averaged 2.6 points per game. Let's pull up the game log. Because the game log will tell you how her season went on as, you know, in terms of playing time. She played more than... 10 she played more than 10 minutes 18 times she played less than 10 minutes 16 times if you look at the beginning of the season from games 1 2 3 4 5 6 she played a lot early on basically before the break she played a bunch after the break she barely saw the floor she didn't see the floor again for any decent amount of time until uh, the last game of the season, which was against Dallas. I'm pretty sure that was their last game of the season on, on September 19th, where she played almost 32 minutes, one for seven from the field. She finished with seven points. But for the most part, after the All-Star break, the Olympic break, she was she played uh, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, two and a half, eight minutes, one minute, 12 minutes, three minutes, five minutes, one minute. And then she played 32 minutes. But that was even starting to happen even right before the break where she played eight and a half, two minutes, um, six minutes. So her as the season went on, her playing time was reduced incredibly. Why that is, I don't know. Um, just the way it goes sometimes when you're playing professional basketball. I'm not going to sit here and say that she should have played or shouldn't have played because I really don't watch the aces like that. But despite the fact that she played 11 minutes a game this season, shot 31% from the field, averaged less than three points per game, Kate Martin sold more jerseys than Aisha Wilson, who won the MVP, who was her teammate. Maybe that's the white privilege that Aisha Wilson's talking about. Maybe it is. Maybe that's the privilege. Or maybe that's the Caitlin Clark effect. 
if Kate, if Kate Martin wasn't on the Iowa Hawkeyes last year with Caitlin Clark, she wouldn't have made the league more than likely, and she damn sure wouldn't have sold the fourth most jerseys in the WNBA. No chance in hell. And that's what we talk about when we speak about the Caitlin Clark effect. She has such an impact on this league that she individually is the reason why a player who barely played, who just happened to be her teammate, got all these jersey sales. And you can bet your ass whenever Stolke shows up, heck, if Gabby Marshall got a run, all these women will get jersey sales because of Caitlin Clark. Just, just re- That's just reality. Now, will it happen for future Iowa teams that weren't playing with Caitlin last year or the year before? I, I, I don't know. But the immediacy of Kate Martin coming in with Caitlin Clark, she has reaped the rewards from it. Now, let's take a look at the list. Let's take a look at who she's got this more jersey sales in. She has more jersey sales than Asia Wilson, three-time league MVP. She has more jersey sales than Brianna Stewart, two-time league MVP. She has more jersey sales than John Quell Jones, Neka Agumake. These are your la- the only person who's an MVP or two there's two players who are MVPs who are no longer in the league. It's Elena Deladon and Sylvia Faust. The rest of these are still active. In fact, she's got more MVP, more jersey sales than Tina Charles, who was MVP in 2012. She has more jersey sales than Diana Taurasi, who was MVP in 2009. If you think Caitlin Clark doesn't bring power, doesn't make an impact, you can scrap the attendance, you can scrap the, the ticket sales. Kate Martin is going to make hand over fist more than likely, or she should. I presume they get some level of money from their jersey sales. I know I've heard in the past where they're, they make it's different from the NBA. I, it is what it is. I'm sure there's some level of money that they get back. She'll make a lot more money in jersey sales than Kelsey Plum. I can tell you that. She'll get a lot more money in jersey sales than uh, Chelsea Gray. I can tell you that. Jackie Young, I can tell you that. There are. I mean, think about the players that she sold more jerseys than. Arike Agumbawale. Nafisa Collier. Jewel Lloyd. Neka Agumake, who was already mentioned. Dijanae Carrington. Dewana Bonner. Alyssa Thomas. Skylar Diggins-Smith. Satu Sabali. The list goes on and on and on. Fourth, fourth, third is Sabrina. Second is Angel Reese. And this is where we're going to get into this conversation real fast about popularity and having a fan base. Angel Reese has fans, she has a lot of loyal fans. Does she have the fan base that Caitlin Clark has? No, but she has a large contingent of loyal fans and they bought her merch. So every time I hear Asia Wilson complain and moan and about all the things that are, oh, woe is me, blah, 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 the privilege. Well, I guess Angel Reese has a privilege over her as well. It's called fans. The privilege of having fans. The privilege of having people care about you. The privilege of having them care of what you do, when you do it, how you do it. Sorry, Asia. Angel Reese is not white. Sabrina Ionescu is third. She plays in New York City. That's beneficial to Jersey sales. She plays in the Big Apple. And let's be real, the New York Liberty have the second largest fan base in the country. They get the second biggest turnout for their games. So it's not a surprise that Sabrina would have a high jersey count. But it's not because she's white, it's because she's good. Asia Wilson just doesn't have a fan base that she thinks she has. 
Asia Wilson just doesn't have the game that makes people want to watch. You see what you got up here? You have Caitlin Clark, shooter, gunner, great passer, all world. You got Angel Reese, rebounding the hell out the ball, big fan base out of LSU, has all the women, black women who love her, and some black men too. Got some white dudes and some white women as well. Whether you like her, you hate her, you watch her. Sabrina Ionescu, shooter, fancy with the ball. And then you have Asia Wilson. I'm skipping over Kate Martin because Kate Martin really is only getting this because of Caitlin Clark. Let's be real. But that shows how much power Caitlin Clark has and how much impact she has. Erica Wheeler said a couple nice things. I'm sorry. Caitlin Clark said a couple nice things about Erica Wheeler. And the next day, Erica Wheeler's foundation is getting inundated with donations from Caitlin Clark fans. You think that was a coincidence? Hell no. Caitlin Clark fans are loyal. And if you treat Caitlin Clark right, they'll treat you right. <laughs> That's what's so crazy about all this stuff is that the, the same people who have dogged her out all year have been saying nice things about her and not dogging her out. They probably would have jersey sales from Caitlin Clark fans. It's the truth. Now, they don't have a list that goes beyond five, so we, we cut it off at Asia Wilson. But Asia Wilson's the league MVP, and she's fifth in jersey sales behind a, a teammate who plays 11 minutes a game and has played basically three minutes a game since the, since the Olympic break and averaged less than three points a game. Hmm. It's pretty freaking amazing. At the same time, the sales of jerseys by team, of course, it's probably it's fair, it's fairly similar. It's fairly similar as it obviously is the Indiana Fever. Indiana Fever are number one, the Chicago Sky, number two, the New York Liberty, number three. The Aces, number four, as you see, two players in the top five from the Aces. And number five is, is the Seattle Storm. You have a team that has not one, not two, not three, but four Olympians on the Las Vegas Aces. The white girl's not on the list. Not Kate Martin. Kelsey Plum's not on this list. End of the day, Caitlin Clark's impact goes so far beyond just her team, just attendance, just TV ratings. It hits in areas that you don't even think about. We've talked about them. Social media presence, followers on, on Instagram, hot dog concession sales, obviously merch sales. But now you're having an impact on merch sales for other players who played with you in college. I'm interested to see next year what happens when they have the draft and whoever from Iowa comes out to see how that person's jersey sales do. Be interesting. But Kate Martin, Kate Martin knew to ride this train and ride this wave. And play or not. She's making some money off this off this train ride. So congratulations, Kate Martin. You knew how to play this game. You should, you should educate your teammates on how to play it because they'd make a whole lot more money if they did. But that's all I got for today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, follow. Remember to pound that like button. And make, sure, make sure you comment on these videos. They make our videos get out there. So thank you so much again. Come on now.